Hello wrestling fans, this is Christopher Angel, the Commissioner of Big Time Pro Wrestling here in Huntington, West Virginia, where we are just 24 hours away from Friday night main event right here at the Good Samaritan Community Church building. And with me right now is our promoter and founder of Big Time Pro Wrestling, Freddie Cornell. Freddie, we're 24 hours away from the big show. 24 hours away, we return back to Huntington, West Virginia, right here. As you can look around right here, we're all set up. Give them a view, Randy, give them a view. Right there, we're all set up right here. We are set and ready to go in Huntington, West Virginia, the home of Big Time Pro Wrestling, where it all started the year of 1997. We are here. You know, people said 1997 Big Time Pro Wrestling, but technically, it was 96 because when actually we started, as you know yourself, and I told you from the get-go here, a long time ago, Chris Angel, it started with All-Star Championship Wrestling and Violent Championship Wrestling with Dick Brown and a few others. And then that's when I got involved myself, along with others, and we bought Big Time Pro Wrestling out from, you know, Dick Brown when that started. So, I mean, People says 97, that's when the kickoff was, but actually, technically, it was 96. It was in the works before that. Uh, anyway, long story short, long time, over 20 years, you know, the longest running company in the state of West Virginia, and it's a fact, it really is. Yeah. You know, everybody always said, you know, uh, everybody's trying to bury Big Time for us for many years, and they couldn't do it. We're still here. We're still here, going strong, putting on the shows, but you know, it it's, boils down to, I mean, it's professional wrestling at its greatest, but hey, I don't care, ladies and gentlemen, if you're uh, up the road, an hour away, two hours away, three hours away, or anywhere in West Virginia, or by the fact, I don't care if it's in this Kentucky, Ohio. Tri-state area. Yeah, tri-state area. Support your professional wrestling. Go and support them. I mean, without you fans, we wouldn't be here. Have a show I mean, I'm sorry, that's just the way I see it. I mean, I don't care what star you bring in. If it wasn't for the fans to pay their harder money to come through here and see us put on these events, we wouldn't be nobody. And I don't care if you're uh, the big shots, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Uh, you know, the ones on TV, AEW, and WWE, or uh, Impact, whoever, you know, if it wasn't for the fans buying their ticket on, you know, on the computer to get in virtual, or whatever they do due to this pandemic, we wouldn't care, you know? I mean, if it wasn't for the fans, we wouldn't be here. Well, Freddie, the best, one of the best things that I really like about it is the fact that with, it's been over 15 months since we have ran a show here at our yes. home base. Yes, I mean, it's been over 15 months, I mean, uh, long months, man, uh, before, you know, due to the pandemic, the COVID-19, and uh, I mean, it took a toll on everybody. I said it many times before. We actually returned back to action had some great shows in Barbersville a few months uh, at the Newburgh Church and what's the success? I mean, it was great. Uh, big shout out to David Kitchen for that, uh, the pastor up there. Uh, of course, we're going back there. You know, we're going back to Barbersville and we got plans of doing some shows uh, back to Wayne, West Virginia and um, a lot of area, new areas that we're going to hit in West Virginia. Um, the time is just coming, Chris. I mean, uh, People don't know we're moving all over West Virginia. You know what? Me and you talk, I mean, well, I've, we've been, I've been in the works with a lot of centers, but we're just now kicking things off, and uh, we're actually going to be returning to the state of Ohio. And um, so I had a couple meetings on that. So, but that's here and there. Tomorrow night, we return here to Huntington, West Virginia, to Good Samaritan Church Community Center. You know, our home, where it all started in Huntington, West Virginia. It ain't no place like home, you know, like this song says, uh, John Jerry, West Virginia. But hey, Huntington was our home base and always will be. So right, we're right. very excited. Got, you know, almost, you know, eight to ten action packed matches to want to take place tomorrow, right here. I mean, some of the best top talent in the world today will be here tomorrow. And I'll tell you, Chris, I mean, this card tomorrow night, I'll put this card up against any, any, any town, any other company. I mean, because this card is top notch. Well, we're at 1610. 1610 Florence, Florence Avenue, Avenue. Harveytown area, you know, Harveytown Park. 
64, get off Fifth Street exit, head towards John, uh, Johnstown Road, boom, straight shot, or get off the West End exit, go towards Harveytown, man. I mean, uh, you know. Now, Freddie, what time will the doors open tomorrow so the fans can get, come in, get good yeah, seats? Yeah, get good seats, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're still going to uh, be uh, cautioned with all the pandemics. I mean, uh, face masks will be required unless you're seating, um, unless you're vaccinated. That's the rules. Um, so, uh, as you know, we got the signs up there, and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna be cautious. You know, I mean, uh, hand sanitizer right there. As soon as you walk in, all stations, we got hand sanitizer booths on all the bathrooms. You know, all throughout the building, and uh, you know, and all the rest, all the wrestlers uh, will uh, will be uh, taking temperature checks and all that stuff due to Allen Towners. And also uh, sanitizing the chairs and all that. We got some, the best chemicals that you can ask for for sanitizing the chairs to bring uh, the, the whole building. Uh, what is it called, Randy? Again? It's a botanical cleaner. Tell you, yeah, it's just like schools uses, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, uh, and it's safe to it's safe to use. It's an it's a botanical cleaner. Well, bottom line is we want our fans and, and our friends mm -hmm. to be safe. On and the wrestlers. And the wrestlers, yeah. too, that comes so, to the show. Because uh, that's the stand will be up and running. I mean, so, uh, as you know, our shirts are in, our new shirts. You can purchase them tomorrow night as well. Starting at $20. $20 and up. $20 and up. Depends what size this is yours. We've got front and back right there. And the back has the big time wrestling roster on the back. Yeah. And um, um, so, I mean, purchase one of them when you're here. All them shirts will be available. Uh, we're getting them out, as you can tell, right over there. Randy put over there. You got plenty of them? Plenty of them. we still got more in stock, so you can purchase your shirts. Uh, we've been advertising. We was, due to the, you know, the shipment, I mean, it was delayed. We were supposed to have them at the last Barbersville show, but, you know, they're going to be available right here tomorrow night. So uh, we're looking forward to seeing all the fans and to come out tomorrow night uh, right here. I mean, some of the matches, I want to do a quick rundown here. Some of the matches that I'm looking for, Chris, will be no other than Timo Cruz versus Ray Waldell. I mean, uh, them guys, I'm really excited seeing them guys in a, in a singles action match. I mean, uh, Puerto Rican sensation, you know, Timo Cruz. Uh, Ray Waldell is from the uh, Kentucky and Indiana area. Uh, he's been here for the last few years, you know. And, He's got his, uh, you know, his you know, toughest opponent in big time pro wrestling ever yet. One of the things that I'm really excited about the card is is our ladies match because we originally had a three way match uh, with Carmen Chaos Page and Ari Alexander, but I think we got another uh, Jocelyn Navarro from Cleveland coming in. Absolutely, I mean uh, we, that match has changed to a women's tag match. For, uh, first time we had that for quite a while. Um, you know, as uh, we was building the women's championship up, everybody's coming in and stuff. So actually, uh, the women's division in big time pro wrestling is getting bigger and bigger. Yes, it uh, is. So we, we, as you know, you've been talking to a lot of women talent, and myself, Florida, uh, Indiana, and all over the area. And, uh, and I can tell, tell, tell our fans one thing uh, down here. If you haven't seen Jocelyn Navarro, she is a top talent up in the Cleveland area. And she is, and, when she gets in that ring, she does give 110 yeah. percent. Yeah, and she, she she's quite she's quite something to watch. Yeah, um, yeah. Double A uh, Alexander and uh, Navarro both, uh, you know, is, uh, competed all over the place. They're actually competed in OVW, uh, Al Snow's uh, home base, Ohio Valley Wrestling. Mm -hmm. I mean, so she'd be making her way here tomorrow night. So you'll see her for the first time in tag team action. She'll be teaming up with the champion Paige Jones. Uh, against Chaos and uh, Alexander. So y'all don't want to miss that. I mean, a great tag team women's match. Uh, next one on the list, uh, you know, Chris, is uh, the River Cities Championship. Uh, the undefeated uh, Superior Tony Evans held the belt for almost over two years now, almost, I believe, when we added up. Uh, some of the top challengers he had so far. But uh, Millennial Dragon, you know, Coming oh, in all the way from New York. That, I mean, uh, that's really going to be a good match right there. Uh, yes, it is. With Rufus, Tony Evans will be with the manager of Champions <laughs> Rufus. So, I mean, uh, uh, if Rufus stays out of the way, you know, 
That's going to be a match for Tony Evans, and uh, we might see a big title change. Well, that's why the commissioner always sets it ringside, so I can keep an eye on Regis. Yeah. So we got that. I mean, uh, any other matches you want to talk about? I'll tell you what. Uh, one of the uh, uh, the matches that I really want to see is Larry D. Yeah, Larry D. and Chris Miles, the, the final countdown. Uh, the last time ever they will face each other will be tomorrow night. We're out here at a big time pro wrestling event. The last time ever that they'll ever go against each other. Because that, really before that. As, well as you now both well know, Freddie, that that uh, that little situation there has been going on for a long time. Yeah. Chris Mellis had the upper hand and went victorious. And the last time they met was in the side of a steel cage. And um, the Kentucky and the West Virginia flag match right here in this building. Uh, and tomorrow right night here. they settle the score. And tomorrow night they'll, the last time ever. So, I mean, uh, so... It can go either way, but that match can go either way, and it's going to be a tough match. I'm really looking forward to that match also, like you said. One more match I want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, Chris Williamson uh, and uh, Johnny Blast against uh, Kevin Taylor and Ghost Rider Kenny. Uh, it's going to be a good match as well. Uh, Chris Williamson, you know, what can I say? But from the big time for us in the academy, working his way up, um, you know, what can I say about that? Yeah, I mean, he's every time practice is off. He, he's always there. He's the first one to get there, last one to leave. Absolutely. Yeah, and he, he really gives it. Top, I mean, he's I mean, in a gym. I mean, he's really showing process of the academy in, in his matches. Yes. So, really before that tag he match. He gives it all when he gets it. Um, and what better way? He's got a great veteran tag team partner that's been tagging with him for a while now. Yeah. Um, and that's Johnny Blass. So, uh, we're moving on to one more match I want to cover real quick. There's be uh, Kamikaze. And uh, OMG, OMG, Nate Gnarly. Nate Gnarly. What a match that's going to take place. And that's a 10, man, that match is going to be a blockbuster. Or something. Yeah. I think half of it will be in the air and half of the half will be on the mat. So yeah, it's, it's, that uh, match can go any, any way. Any I'm way, really not picking yeah. anybody, but it's going to be a match to remember. Yeah. And next, this year, I think it will be a match to remember this year starting out. And, and I, I would even be afraid to pick a winner because it's just going to be so close. I mean, it could go either way. I mean, each, yeah. they're, they're evenly matched competitors. Uh, both have a, you know, I, I would say Nate probably has a little bit more experience, a little bit more ring experience, but what, what, what he, uh, the other one lacks, lacks an experience he makes up for in, 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 um, in fortitude. So, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we, uh, a lot more action tomorrow. Yes. We, we just can't name them all. It's so like, uh, man, we got tons of, you know, like I said, eight to ten blockbuster matches we got scheduled. Uh, we got some of the top talents coming in. Uh, you know, we just can't cover almost all of them. I mean, we got, oh, Johnny Santos, I mean, Jordan Whitaker, uh, Stonewall, Benny Blanco, the list goes on and on. Wrestlers from Florida, New York, Indiana, all over the place coming right here tomorrow night. And, you know, what better way to kick off the return to Big Time for Wrestling at its home base. I'm very excited. And hope to see everybody there. Don't forget to check out our YouTube page, BigTimeProWrestling.com. I want to make a big shout out to uh, Randy Egerton for always keeping up on that YouTube page as well. Uh, we will be going uh, live on Facebook tomorrow throughout the whole day. Some of the wrestlers will be getting in from uh, you know all day long. Uh, so make sure to tune in on that. We'll be doing live interviews with them while they're getting here, um, you know, so, you know, if you want to join in for that, make sure to share it to all your friends and family uh, to come early, get a good seat. Uh, we're going to have safe environment, don't worry about that. And uh, also, uh, Big Time Pro Wrestling on our Facebook page, that's where you can reach us out also. And uh, what kind of was that? We're ready to thank you. Thank for all of our sponsors, by the way, Time Saver, Hall's Funeral Home in Proctorville. Uh, and also uh, uh, the Anti-Bullying Drugs Association. I mean, uh, I mean, Lulu Mart down here, West End Huntington. I mean, uh, uh, the cheapest in gas still. I mean, I was with them today. I mean, uh, make sure to go check out them guys. And I want to thank everybody uh, that's a part of the show. The staff will be here tomorrow and making this show successful. And with, you know, the list of everybody, the staff, the camera guys, the referees, I mean, we're ready to rock and roll and, you know, and, uh, and security and all that. I mean, without them guys putting everything together, Chris, I mean, that's what it takes, a group together. It's hard work to run a show, uh, a pro wrestling event, and 
and we do it to, to try to be the best in the area. And it's and I'm not just saying that, that because it's tons of wrestling promotions out there. And wherever you live, go support your wrestling area. The independent wrestling, go support them. And you know all the wrestlers and stuff. I mean, and we thank you for that. We really do. Well, you know, Freddie, I can tell you what I've been around professional wrestling for a long time, and I can say this: uh, some promoters are good, and some promoters are good at it. You know. Absolutely. I mean, everybody you know does your best, but. Uh, we're still standing strong, and we want everybody to come out tomorrow night, enjoy their self, bring their family. Uh, we, you know, we're just getting started, man. I mean, uh, we're just getting started, man. We got uh, more shows just a couple weeks away, but we got Sergeant Slaughter coming in. Uh, the list goes on and on. I mean, we, I mean, we got some good stars and some other good talent that's coming in and, uh, in the area through different promotions, and we're very excited just to get started back. Hope to see you all tomorrow night. My name is Freddie Quinnell, the promoter of Big Time for Wrestling. Thanks for joining in. And this is Christopher Angel. We hope to see you tomorrow night at Ringside. Have a blessed evening and a blessed weekend. And we hope to see you tomorrow night at 7 p.m. bell time. Doors will open at sharp 6 p.m. for meet and greet with all the wrestlers. And shirts, merchandise tables will be up. I mean, the wrestlers will already be here. So come early, get a good seat. And see you all tomorrow night. They said your phone was freezing up during it, but I'll have I'll have the video. Here's that what time you want me here, Mark Freddy? Uh, we'll be here right around roughly around three, so you want to get here around there? About three. Yeah, because yeah, 'cause we'll 'cause if we got 'cause if we'll do the do, get some okay. promo. What time do you come to prison? I'll probably be here about 3, 3.30. Okay, I'll be here. Yeah, so that way we can... Because uh, I know, like, when Brady had said earlier, doing the interviews and all that. So we're going to do permits, so we're going to cut promos with everybody. Hello, wrestling fans. This is Chris Angel, the Commissioner of Big Time Pro Wrestling. Well, we are just only hours away from Friday night main event. With me right now is our promoter, Freddie Cornell, and Hank Hudson, bring it out, Hank. Oh man, the bell time can't come soon enough. What do you think about tonight? Oh man, eight blockbuster matches. We got the uh, lady wrestlers. Uh, we got the, all the big stars of big time pro wrestling. Uh, the fans are going to be very happy with tonight's big card. I'll tell you what I think about tonight. Tonight is the night. Friday night main event. Big time pro wrestling returns home. So tell your family, tell your friends, pack up your wife, get her off the couch, say, honey, come on, we're going to go see some wrestling action in Huntington, West Virginia. I see you at ring time, ringside right here in Huntington, West Virginia. You can't get the best tickets ever. $10, kids roaming under only $5. Hope to see you there at ringside. I didn't know you wanted that much yeah. excitement. Yeah. in Huntington, West Virginia. Right here, Johnny L. Johnny Santos, excuse me. Tonight, Jordan Whitaker, one-on-one. -on -one. First time in Huntington, West Virginia. You already made a big impact in big time for wrestling. What can you say about your opponent tonight? El Johnny Santos. El Johnny Santos. El Johnny Santos. Johnny Santos. Callao. All right, and Johnny Santos, that's how it's pronounced correctly. Jordan Whitaker tonight is going to get an ass kicking of a lifetime, of a millennium. I wish Millennium Dragon was here. But guess what? He's got the title shot. And I have to step over Jordan Whitaker to get one, right? I would, I would, hope, I would hope we're going to get one. But we're here, Good Samaritan Church, Community Center. You're going to see the highlight. You're going to be Mr. Big Time. El hombre grande. 
Santos. Tonight, we're taking home the double. Dennis? Actually, you mentioned the River City's Championship. Whoever wins that match tonight between you and Jordan Whitaker mm -hmm. will move on. And whoever wins between Tony Evans, the current champion, and Millennial Dragon, you'll face one of them guys. So are you ready for that? Whoever comes out victorious. Man, oh man, am I ready. Se dice en español, estoy listo. I'm ready. I came ready. I'm ready right now. Get me a ref. You're the matchmaker, Freddy. Make the right decision. I am the right decision. I am the champion. I already got the gold. I just need more. Just give me the opportunity and I'll take it. Dennis, you got it? I hear you. Harsh words right there coming at you. Hail Johnny Santos. And Hail tonight. Johnny Santos. El hombre. El jefe. El dueño. El Johnny Santos. See you tonight at ringside. 7 p.m. Doors open at 6 p.m. Right here at 1610 Florence Avenue at Big Time Pro Wrestling Live in Action. <laughs> Freddie, cool. somebody sent you a text saying they couldn't make it. I think it was Nick.
some people, alguna gente, call me a teacher, the teacher, el profesor, el maestro, if you will. Growing up here in Washington Heights, I've learned a few things. With May 21st, Good Samaritan Church Community Center, Huntington, West Virginia, I'm gonna show Jordan Whitaker a few things. I'm gonna teach him a few things. I'm gonna teach all of you a few things. Same way the last time I was there, I had to teach you how to properly pronounce my name. It's El Jefe, El Dueño, El Maestro, El Johnny Santos. Muchas gracias.
It's been a crazy year. I'll tell you what, it has been a long time. You know, the pandemic took a toll on a lot of us. I lost a lot of good friends. I lost family members. But you know what? When we the Paul's made, and they said, Ready for now. Are you ready to come back home? And God forgive me, it's in the battle. But I said, Oh, hell yes! We're going to ask the back home for you tonight. You know, some of the best top talent in the world here tonight. But I made a phone call to every one of my wrestlers. And I said, Huntington is not ready for just one night. And they said, what do you mean? I said, to some of the wrestlers back up there, I said, through the pandemic, my fans stay in touch. We did virtual matches on the internet, but you all never gave up. And you all knew it was going to come back sooner or later. So I got a question to ask for you. How about tomorrow night we return back here in this building, huh? We can't hear you. If you don't for a two-night show, stand up and make some noise, huh? So tomorrow night, the reason why I'm doing this, Mikey Ashworth, the referee, and some of the wrestlers back up there, said, Freddie, I know it's your birthday. It surprised me that you didn't have a birthday wrestling match. And I said, well, hell, Saturday night we're going to have a Freddie Cornell fan appreciation birthday bash right here tomorrow night. Now you get your flower going out the door here. And you'll see them tickets. You'll see on there, all tickets are only $5. But I'm going to do better than that for you. You see them white wristbands right there? I want you all to wear them. And I'll tell you what, if you come through that door tomorrow night, you got that white wristband on. I'll make it even better for you. You'll get in for only three bucks, okay? Because you all are a fan appreciation. And I told you all a hundred times, support your independent wrestling. I don't care if it's an hour up the road in Charleston, West Virginia, and I'm not promoting anybody. Or I don't care if it's in Kentucky, Cleveland, Ohio, or wherever. Without you all paying your
real quick, man. How's all these beautiful fans doing up over there in West Virginia? Finally, big time wrestling Lords of the Ring returns to Huntington, Huntington, West Virginia on Friday, May 21st, where myself, General, General Timo Cruz, faces one on one with one of the best BTW has ever seen. We're talking about Ray Waddell. Ray, I saw you the first time I was in uh, West Virginia wrestling from BTW. I saw you wrestle your buddy. You do what you do. You see me kick Larry D's ass that night. I did what I did. You ain't know who I was, but now you do. But we about to get real, real familiar with each other. Because General Timo Cruz just came out from a big loss. And I don't plan on disappointing my fans on Friday, May 21st. So you, I hear that your Ray is boss. I'm a general. And a general is the boss. And I'm legit. So let me tell you this right now. I'm just being a little humble. I'm being kind. I'm feeling good. But on Friday, May 21st, Ray Waddell, you stand in the way of me getting back to the top to get to where I need to be. And don't think, I might like you, I might be a fan, but that ain't gonna stop me from doing what I do best. And that's not Ray is boss. That's on General. The General. The General, and generally speaking, I'm at a gas station somewhere in Indiana. At least I had the professionalism to get out of the car to cut my promo, but hey, I'm not throwing shade at you, Cruz. You're the General, right? Well, generally speaking, I'm undefeated in BTW. I don't know about you. I'm not sure of your track record. I do know I saw you beat Larry D. I know you got in the ring and you fought Rhino, and I commend that, man. I know how good you are. I know you're one of the best. And I know you're trying to get to the top, but the problem is there's one man in your way, and you're looking at him. The Southpaw Hotshot. The Man Bun Mastodon. The Superstar Ray Waddell. And look, I know you got a lot of fans, and so do I. So maybe there'll be a little split. Who knows? But at the end of the night, they ain't chanting General. And they ain't chanting Timo. They're chanting Ray is boss.
on May 21st, the Millennial Dragon, Chris Taylor. Yours truly goes one-on-one -on -one with the superior Tony Evans for the River City Championship. Now, Tony Evans, your title reign has been nothing but superior. But I can guarantee you one thing. You've never been one-on-one -on -one with a beast. You've never been one-on-one -on -one with the dragon. And you've never faced the devastation that I bring to the ring. Tony Evans on May 21st. Huntington, West Virginia for big time wrestling. You will witness the rise of the dragon. Month after month, I get the same exact thing. They post a flyer up, somebody posts a video, they tell me how they're gonna beat me, they tell me when, they tell me where, and they tell me why. They tell me they're gonna beat me for my River Cities Championship at Big Time Pro Wrestling. I won this my first night there. I will not lose it. I've held it for almost two years at this point, this belt is a part of me. Come take it. Millennial Dragon, come take this from me. I dare you. You tell me I've never faced a beast. I've never faced a dragon. I'm gonna rip that goofy ass mask off your head and I'm gonna show you that you're just a man. Just a man that can be beaten. Just a man that will be beaten. This word on my chest is superior. It's not a gimmick. It's not a catchphrase. It's me. It's who I am. Come try and take this belt from me because one constant always remains the same. Insert name here. I am better than you. I am superior to you.
ago the Millennial Dragon Chris Taylor ends the two-year streak of superior Tony Evans for the BTW River Cities Championship. Now a few words from the Dragon if you don't mind. Tonight I face one of the toughest challenges ever in big time wrestling. The superior Tony Evans. Yeah, we fought each other. It was a back and forth, fought, fought battle. And he tried his dastardly deeds on me with his magic, Rufus. But even that wasn't good enough to conquer, to slay, to stop the rise of the dragon. Now Big Time Wrestling Faithful, you are looking at the new first ever dragon, best ever champion in Big Time Wrestling as your new River Cities champion. Check it out. Kamikaze here. Let me let you in on a little secret. The date is May 21st. Place, Huntington, West Virginia. The crew, BTW. Now the guy I'm going up against, check it out. Nasty name, Norley. I've seen your work. Nate, I'm nasty too. <laughs> I'm more likely nastier than you. But check it out, I'm bringing all the smoke. And when it clears in the ring, and I'm standing there victorious, it's all good. You were just a stepping stone on the way to the top at BTW. No hard feelings when I bring it. <laughs> just remember the name, Kamikaze. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing 170 pounds, is OMG Nasty Nate Marlin! And his opponent,
Hello, wrestling fans. This is Christopher Angel, the commissioner of Big Time Pro Wrestling here in Huntington, West Virginia, where we are just an hour away from Friday night main event. And on the card tonight, uh, especially as a, as a ladies' tag team match, we have Ari Alexander, Double A, teaming up with Carmen Chaos. And they will be facing in the ring the, BT, the BTW champion Paige Jones and a newcomer to Big Time Pro Wrestling, Miss Jocelyn Navarro. Jocelyn, welcome to Big Time Pro Wrestling. Thank you. Tonight, uh, you've got your work cut out for you because you're going to be actually in tag with, with the BTW champion against two half competitors, uh, Carmen Chaos and uh, Ari Alexander. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what, what do you think is going to happen in that match? Well, obviously, whatever team I'm on, we're going to be successful. I'm not too familiar with Paige or Carmen, but I'm very familiar with Ari, and Ari's never beat me. So, oh. my plan here is to pin Ari, establish myself as the dominant woman in the division, and eventually get my title shot against Paige, because even though we're on a team tonight, <laughs> I'm only the team of me. Well, there you have it, wrestling fans. Words from our newcomer, Jocelyn Navarro. See you at ringside tonight, 7 o'clock.
You see it sees fit, evidently. Big time wrestling sees it fit. Larry D versus Chris Miles one last time. You see, Chris Miles, years and years and years I've watched you grow from a child to a man to a father that I respect myself. But you see, when it comes to war, it doesn't matter. All that gets pushed aside. In the offices, your daddy sees it fit one last time. Larry D versus Chris Miles. You see, in the past... I may look you in the eye and tell you how proud I am of the success that you've had inside a square, inside a cage, wherever it may be, because I know the boy that's grown to the man that we know today in Chris Miles. As a matter of fact, I have a Team Miles shirt myself. I represent. Chris Miles come that night. I'm representing you and me. And I'm going to teach you one last lesson. When I get in that ring, all those years that you looked and wished, Dad, I want to be like Larry D. Dad, that's how it's supposed to be done. Come Friday night, May 21st, Chris Miles, it's you versus me. The very last time. The time that Larry D gets to prove final once and for all. It doesn't matter what fight you've been in. It doesn't matter how many individuals you've knocked out. I've seen your fights. You're fat, you're out of shape, and you blow up too damn easy. And come Friday night, May 21st, I'm going to prove to you the difference between a real athlete and myself and someone that just wants to share a ring with a real pro. And that night, I hope, Chris Miles, it was worth every inch that you went as dad put me in there with Impact Wrestling's own Larry D. You know who I am. You know how powerful this is. Enough has been said. Chris Miles, one last time. I'm going to knock you out. <laughs>
champion, Millennial Dragon, Chris Taylor, defeated Tony Evans. I mean, what a match that was. Yes, it was. It they, was an incredible match. They, uh, they took that match to the hill. Yes. It, it was like right right close to the time. It was good. But you know what? I mean, it was a great night tonight, Chris Angel. But a fan appreciation night uh, tomorrow night. All, all tickets are only $5. All tickets are only $5. I mean, fan appreciation. And what else to call it, you know? Yep. Freddie Cornell's birthday Freddie bash. Freddie Cornell's birthday bash. Tomorrow hey. night. So fans, if you if you missed tonight, and if he was here tonight even, come back tomorrow night, because we got a great action pack card for you tomorrow night. We got a couple new stars coming in tomorrow night, making their debut. I mean, uh, as we announced, uh, Kamikaze will go one-on-one -on -one with, with Millennial Dragon. Uh, that's tomorrow night. I mean, what a match it is. And also announce the very last, you know, Showtime Chris Miles versus Timo Cruz. What, what do you think about that match tomorrow night? Oh, I'll tell you what, that's going to be something. Timo tonight, he was, he, you know, for, for, a, for a big, Timo's a big man, and for a big man, he moves quick, he moves like lightweight. And so does Chris Miles in that ring. So I can tell you what, it's going to be an action packed match. It's going to go back and forth. Yeah, let's talk about tonight's uh, matches, a few matches that took place tonight. I mean, uh, Timo Cruz, we were just talking about him, defeated Ray Waddell. Went to Larry. What a match that was. That was St standing match. ovation, crowd standing ovation. I mean, that what a match nice. that was. Also, we go on to uh, Chris Angel to, uh, you know, Jordan Whitaker. I mean, I mean, what a guy that was, but man, he just, uh, he came up short on El Johnny Santos, making a victory win over that. I mean, I mean that was a match also. I mean, every match tonight was a main event match tonight. How about I mean, that ladies tape match? Yeah, that ladies tape match. That was exciting. I and mean, you saw at the end, Carmen Chaos made the BTW Women's Champion Paige Jones tap out. We could yeah. very see a big upset yeah, in the next few yeah. weeks. I mean, when them two meets again in the next couple of weeks, I mean, we could see a big upset. We, that's, that's no question about that. Man. Now, you was back in the back earlier. We announced it also tonight. I mean, Rufus, I mean, I mean, he degraded all the women wrestlers back here and said some harsh words to Carmen Chaos. Now, you made the match tomorrow. I mean, them two, Carmen Chaos versus Rufus tomorrow, and you stipulation was. I, I, yeah, I laid it right on the line, and, and 
you just got to see it to believe it. If Rufus loses the match, he has to wear a dress. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, he must wear a dress tomorrow before the show ends if he loses it. And, uh, you know, and... And Millennial Dragon, he, you know, said that he was going to visit the Huntington Hall and get him a special dress or something. Wow. I mean, I mean, I love to see that. I hope. I, yeah, and, and like I say, fans, it, it's it, it, you just got to see it to believe it. And, you know, it's uh, what can we say? Here we are. I mean, I mean, the women's match. I mean, Alex, Miss Alexander, Area Alexander, what a talented young lady that is. Uh, Jocelyn Navarro. Making their his her debut. Yes. I mean, we ain't seen the last of her yet either. I mean, but we had a great action pack part for you, right? I mean, the tag team match, I mean you you saw the American Rebel Chris Williamson and uh, and his tag team partner, uh, Johnny Blast actually couldn't make it tonight, so uh, he had a safety partner. The Inferno. The Inferno. The Mask Inferno. The Mask Inferno uh, tagged up with uh, American Rebel, but they came out victorious. I mean uh, you know, uh, Chris uh, Weeks, who got the panel, Kevin Taylor, 123, all the way from the Big Time Pro Wrestling Academy. Uh, but, you know, we're very excited tomorrow, man. I mean, we really are. We can't wait to, uh, for tomorrow night. For tomorrow night, yeah. And it's uh, definitely going to be an action packed night uh, tomorrow night as well. And the, the bell time is still 7 o'clock. Right? Bell time, 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Meet and greet all the wrestlers. Come on out for 6 p.m. We're going to open the doors around 6 o'clock. You know, uh, Tell your friends and family, you know, it's big time for wrestling. We'll be here back in town, Honey Toys, Virginia. It's a double hitter tomorrow. Fan appreciation because we show all the support to all the wrestling fans. Thank you for supporting us through all the pandemic that went on and stuff. So, hey, we're coming back here tomorrow night for a special edition. Only $5 to get in the doors. Only five bucks, ladies and gentlemen. You can't beat that. Come on out. Uh, you know, we got to, I mean, just, just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and big time for wrestling. We're just kicking off just a few months ago, and it's turned out great. We had Rhino and all that. In a few weeks, we're going to see Sergeant Slaughter. What else can we see? Oh, my gosh, yeah. We've got a lot of, we've got a lot of things lined up for the fans. And, um, and you know, as I said before, come out and see us. Come out and support us. It's a special $5 show. You never want, you're not going to find a high-quality wrestling show for 5 bucks. You definitely will have your money. You know, yes, and I just want to say once again a big thank you to uh, uh, our video footage guy, Randy Egerton, always doing a good job. Our YouTube station, BigTimeProWrestling.com. Also, our Facebook, Big Time Pro Wrestling. Uh, I want to thank Time Saver once again, Lulu Mart, The Dog, The River, all of our sponsors, and hope to see everybody back here tomorrow night at ringside. Thank you all very much. Have a good evening. God bless. My name is Freddie Cornell, the promoter. Christopher Angel right here. Commission. See you at ringside you. tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, Good Samaritan Church Community Center, 1610 Florence Avenue, Huntington, West Virginia.